Dishonored is a classic well-rated game of an assassin story, but it is 10 years old now, so I'm going to tell you if it's worth it in 2022, and therefore should you play it. Imagine Assassin's Creed in Victorian age, in first person mode, with upgradable superpowers and t feel And you get this honor. Name of the game comes from the story where you are a bodyguard to young Empress's daughter who gets taken and her mother the Empress itself killed in front of your eyes and it all falls onto you. This is mainly a stealth game but you can get very creative in your way to play it. Your main weapon is a short sword but you can acquire a pistol, handy crossbow, traps or grenades and then you get those cool superpowers like controlling rats short teleporting or shadow kill. You can play this game as a Rambo, but it is most rewarded in not being detected by anyone. There are a lot of secrets to find in each level, valuables to gather and your character skills to upgrade as well as your weapons and those superpowers. Visuals even in 2022 looks quite gorgeous thanks to its stylized visuals that gets a bit comic feel like. Yet you notice the age of the game on characters and their faces, but soon you get used to it. Definitive Edition includes all four DLCs, which contains two new story missions, challenging shooting range and unique character bonuses. And the best thing about it, you can all access it from main menu and choose to play them whenever you like. So the question is, should you play it? But before we continue, you should know that this game is free to claim and to play forever from Epic Games Store, where we are getting every single week at least one free game. And this channel has been dedicated for four years to review every single one of them. When I think of it, the game is a lot like Thief or Hitman, where you infiltrate a big guarded complex and slowly clean its rooms one by one, but it's totally up to you how you approach it with many different possibilities and that is the core fun of this game. And with your choice how you approach the game with non-lethal means or lethal ones, you get different endings. There are also several difficulty settings to choose from, so you don't have to have it too brutally difficult, yet if you choose to, you can. Overall, this game aged very little and pretty well, and I can still gladly recommend it to any stealth first person fan out there. Probably first person shooters fans won't be so thrilled as a Rambo style in this game is fairly limited in its playstyle. And since I mentioned this game is similar to Hitman, how about watching our review of first rebooted Hitman next? Especially with that funny intro of ours, I can guarantee you won't be disappointed. So please let us know your thoughts of Dishonored in the comments and I hope to see you in the next video.